that metal interview. And we have a returning guest to the show by the name of Steve Kudlow, better known as Lips of the legendary band Thrash, Canadian metal band Anvil. Yes, ladies and gents, uh, we're talking about Anvil. Uh, Lips is here with us one more time. He returns to the show to promote uh, the band's most recent album, Impact is Imminent. Very, very badass stuff. You guys have to check it out. It came out back in May. AFM Records. Let's check out a song from Impact is Imminent. A song and video by the name of Ghost Shadow. We'll be right back. for you guys uh, on behalf of Anvil Lips and the band just one of the badass tracks on the band's most recent album Impact is Imminent you guys should stream it download it and purchase it go to the stores blah 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 uh, 14 badass tracks let me give you the song titles real quick Take a Lesson Ghost Shadow Another Gunfight Fire Rain Teabag Don't Look Back Someone to Hate Bad Side of Town Wizard's Wand Lockdown, Explosive Energy, The Rabbit Hole, Shockwave, and track number 14 is Gomez. So you guys have to check it out. There's a couple of different surprises in there that he's going to talk about. So let's jump right into the interview with our good friend Anvil all the way from Canada. Here it is, our interview with Anvil Lips. Enjoy. Uh, you were on our show about a year ago, maybe. Anyways, welcome back, you know. Yeah, nice to be here. So let's uh, speak of uh, your new album, 
Impact is imminent. Uh, May 20th, AFM Records, 14 awesome tracks. I got to hear them. How long did it take to write the whole thing? I never really thought about that. <laughs> as long as it took, I never really yeah. uh, went in to record. I, I don't know. We got it done between, uh, I guess, March of 2020 to, I don't know, maybe till we recorded it, uh, which was in August of 2021. So, yeah, yeah. It's, you know. It's some badass songs on there. Awesome stuff. Yeah, it's, I mean, it came out it came out great. Good album. I love the intro riff to uh, uh, Lockdown. <laughs> and, uh, you know, those harmonies there. Badass stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, how do you... Throw, Go ahead, throw I'm sorry. Back, throwbacks to the past. Right. <laughs> How do you plan to, all the respect, how do you play those harmonies live? Do you just uh, do you use a processor or do you... We're, we're, we're not playing that live. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a, that's the, the quick answer to that. <laughs> that song, I never... Uh, they, it just it won't get played live. I never really had plans to play it live. And, yeah. Um, yeah, but... Yeah, is there? there's harmony guitars? Yeah, of course there's harmony guitars. They need... It needed to go there. That's what it had to go there. Yeah. So I put it there. It sounds badass. <laughs> I'm a guitar player myself. That's why I can appreciate these uh, harmonies and all that stuff. <laughs> no, but I mean the thing is, the thing is, you know, uh, they wouldn't. Ha you don't really have to actually play the harmonies. Yeah. You can play the main line, and it, I, I, we did do a version of it because I, I was I was thinking about doing it at a. At, at a simulcast from our rehearsal place. Okay. In lockdown. Okay, there you go. Like I, I, I was that because the song was written not long ago. Yeah, during lockdown. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. So the, the the intention was actually to play the song live from my from the from our re, our rehearsal studio. Yeah. I, after rethinking about it all, I, it it didn't seem. It didn't seem like the the right thing to do. The the song needed to be recorded properly, not not do a live version and yeah. and that's the end of it. it it's like uh, it's kind of ruining a pretty neat, pretty cool song. Has some really great potential for for doing guitar harmonies, like you say. You know what you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, it would have been kind of throwing it away by yeah. doing it like that. I yeah. guess the novelty would have been kind of cool, but at the end of the day, I decided not to do it. That's all. So, but I kept the song and uh, and did it what, did, did it justice in in the recording process. There you go. That's the word I was going to use. Give it justice. There you go. Perfect. So, also, the, the, the other, you know, the thing is, it's a three piece band. It has been a three piece band for for almost for fucking twenty years. Yeah. Yeah, you guys well, had a really, yeah. really since since Dave Allison left, uh, he did serve the purpose of a real rhythm guitar player. A long time ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and and that's a rhythm guitar player. That's not that's not a second guitar. Yeah, we only had a second guitar really for one album, and that was worth worth the wait when we had Sebastian Marino. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And aside from that, the, the second guitar never really amounted to much. Um, yeah. There was, an, of course, the era through which we had Ivan Heard in the band. He didn't play, uh, although he was there for live, the, the studio stuff, he virtually played nothing but a couple solos here and there. Yeah. And they we never ran harmonies. Yeah. So it's... It got to the point where it just became a redundancy. What the fuck has we got this going on? It's not really adding anything, yeah, other than an ex other than expense. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. like it's, all it's doing is costing us money for what? <laughs> for what? And you know what? The guy can't even sing. It's not even adding singing. Like, come on. Yeah. Exactly. Good point. Yeah. And people get, got used to Anvil as a three-piece anyway, and it sounds badass like that. You're doing a great job. Yeah, and, and, and the, the truth be told, the early material, like like when you hear 666, there's not 
four four guitarists. Or there's not uh, there's not two guitar players playing in that song. No, no. Well, yeah. I'm just saying, or in Jackhammer, or in or in Winged Assassins, or in Bedroom Game. I mean, I could go on and on. Any of the fast song songs on the early albums, Dave Allison didn't even play in them in the recordings. Yeah, so it's not necessary. Yeah. Yeah, two things. It wasn't necessary, and you could never get it tight enough. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. So who better to record? You ever tried it? You ever tried to track two league two guitar players playing a really fast fast riff? That'll be tough to to match. <laughs> you, you, you can't. Actually, <laughs> the truth is, you can't. Yeah. The way that you do that is you get one guy to play both the guitar parts. That's how you do it. That's how Metallica did it. Exactly. What, you, yeah. what the fuck do you think they're doing? Yeah. How the fuck do you think you get guitars to sound like that if it isn't one guy? Headfield, yeah. Yeah, right. Well, exactly. That's what it is. Yeah, exactly. Good point there. Good point. Good decision. Well, same thing with Pantera. Yeah. Same bag, yeah. Same I mean, thing. That's exactly what it, the case was with Pantera. Yeah, exactly. One, one guitar player. You don't only need one. <laughs> that's what the truth is. You only need one. Yeah. You need two more. Yeah, I see you guys on YouTube, and, and it sounds badass, you know? The guitar sounds nice and full, and you got the bass player back there backing you up. It sounds great. Awesome. Yeah, I, I happen to think so. I like that I like that format. That's been that's been my favorite since I was a kid, right? Yeah. Uh, and and my, my, favorite, my, favorite, my favorite singers all play guitar. <laughs> really? Who, who are your favorite singers? Who, who are your favorite singers? Well, I mean, let's let's just put it this way. Anybody's well, Lonesome Dave. Yeah. Uh, from from, from Foghat. Yeah. Um, you know, Chuck Berry. How about yeah. Chuck Berry? Wow. He's a guitar player, singer, right? Yeah. He's he, going. Uh, you know, John Lennon was a great guitar player, singer. So was George Harrison. Oh, so yeah. was Eric Clapton, right? There's a bunch. Yeah. There's a bunch. The thing is, you know, Mark Farner, another fucking awesome. Guitar player, singer. Awesome. Oh yeah, Grand Funk. Yeah, of course. There's Paul a lot. Of Rogers, guitar player, singer, by, by actually in in true reality, right? Dave Mustaine. How many of the greatest singers in the world play instruments? Yeah. What's wrong with Paul McCartney's voice? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I heard the song Gomez. You got some trumpets on there, if I'm not mistaken. Where did, where did that come from? More than just trumpets. There's a trombone. There's fucking... Yeah. yeah there's a few <laughs> going there. That's very cool. Very cool and different. <laughs> where did that come from? Well, we've done it before. We've, we've always had uh, hints of uh, big band swing in our music, but yeah. people never really recognized it And uh, up until the, recently when we when I've been purposely doing it. Yeah. to get right in with the music. Why not? It's where it came from. Exactly. The roots. Yep. The roots of well, rock. You know, I started talking about, but go back to 83, you know? Go back to 83. Let's talk about, let's talk about the Forge of Fire album. Considering today is the anniversary, you know, of, what is it, 50 years or 40 years, whatever. What, how many long ago? Th 39? Yeah. 39 years, yeah. Yeah, it's true today. Forge of Fire came out. So it's like, we did a song called Motor Mount. Yeah. It's fucking swing, man. It's swing, yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but did people realize, it? hey, no, hey, it's it's new music, man. It's speed metal, man. <laughs> yeah, people hear it a certain way, yeah. Exactly. And, and, that's, and that's the thing. So all that I did is I'm revealing and using where I've been influenced from. Where I got, where we got those ideas from. Yeah. Rob and I love Buddy Rich. We love fucking Glenn Miller, Artie Shaw, fucking, you know, Gene Krupa. Fuck, come on, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, bad ass. We have great jazz kings, the, the, the guys that really play. You know, it take 25 fucking guys to make a song rock. Yeah. Not 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 three three guys. <laughs> my my dad would call my music noise. <laughs> and I I understand why. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was. You know, you're like Glenn Miller, and you get you just realize the level of, 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 of incredible musicianship and singing. Yeah, exactly. My- check out check out the song Chattanooga Choo Choo. Okay. Just check that out, recording, and listen to what the fuck is going on. Exactly. Who, who the fuck? Who's doing that now? Yeah. They're ever gonna do that ever again? Right. You never can attain that fucking kind of greatness ever in a million fucking years, man. You got to appreciate it. And I, t- I tell you, man, it's not coming back. Yeah. Yeah. One time to go. And so's Anvil. We're not coming back. Yeah. You when, guys. When I'm, when I'm, when I'm dusted, there's not going to be a replacement. I yeah. Have to tell you. Yeah, that's it. Speaking of you guys, uh, you guys are kicking ass in your 60s. I mean, look at Rob. I mean, basically. On Ghost Shadow, he's playing double bass throughout the whole thing, basically. Wow, you know, that's awesome. If this has been going, it's not anything new. Yeah. You know, this is the part, what you just said is, I find it absolutely, astronomically unbelievable to hear it. What the fuck do you think has been going on all along? Yeah. Like, what are, what are people thinking has been going on all along? Yeah, you guys are in shape, you know. Listen, yeah. listen to the albums again. Re-listen to what the fuck's going on. You guys are in shape, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are in shape, yeah. In the same breath, you guys never change. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that, I guess the point is... Uh, you keep fucking kicking ass. You're right, you don't change. Yeah. You're still animal. Awesome. And doing animal-style music, that's right. Because that's what we are. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with being who you are. Yeah, I guess my point is that I'm glad you guys are, are keep it <laughs> keep it in shape. You guys are in shape. That's awesome. You know, very cool. Yeah, well, you use it or lose it. That's it. Yeah, that's awesome. Very very cool. I mean, look at look at Mick Jagger. I mean, he's in the '80s. Uh, he's jumping up and down up there too. You know, he's this to me. That's awesome. You know, '80s and jumping up and down on stage. <laughs> you use it or lose it. That's all. Right. And some of us are gifted and you're able to do it for longer than others. And and it's a blessing. So fuck. And you don't, you, you just fucking fade away, man. Yeah. And die. Exactly. And leave a legacy. That's what you do as a musician. That's what your job is. You don't fucking retire. Yeah. There's no such thing as retirement. That's all we know how to do, yeah. No, you do it to the end, man. Come on. If you can, fuck. Yeah. As long as you're able, yeah, you know, don't stop. That's exactly. right. As long as you are able. Exactly. That's what you do. Yeah. Good point. Exactly. So what's different now? I mean, obviously the internet took over everything here nowadays. What's different now compared to the 80s when, when you guys started, you know? Oh, well, the whole fucking world has changed. Yeah. And the way that people perceive things, too. And I think that the, I think that there's a lot got lost. A lot got... A lot got uh, found. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and what do I mean? What did what got lost? You know what got lost? There's an innocence got lost. Yeah. You know, uh, the, the, uh, promiscuity, promiscuity, like uh, you, where, where the good times of the early '80s are all gone, never, ever, ever to come back. Gone. And now, ten times, a million times amplified. Now, like if you, you, I don't know if you think of, ever think about this, what would you have done as a 16 to a 16 to 25 year old in the, in the world of today as a guy? You ever going to get laid? Yeah. 16 would to... It even, would, it even, would it even be possible to ever get that life experience outside of marriage, to ever get, get that experience? Yeah. Yeah, I see your point. Yeah, and, 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 you know, in a day where everything is fucking stay sterile, you know, fucking, you know, keep everything sterilized, man. Don't don't touch each other. Yeah. So I... not, not you, you, don't go near each other. Wear a mask. It's, <laughs> it's, it's fucking. Not only is there the, the scare of AIDS, it's the scare of fucking COVID. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's like. How are you gonna? How are you ever gonna have sex today? 
Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like I, I just wonder. I'm, it's making me wonder what what's going to happen to everybody. Everybody's going to be a very angry. There's going to be a lot of really angry people out there. Things have changed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> if they stop and think about it, people. And, and 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 there is a lot of aggression and anger out there because people aren't having aren't having the sex that that they used to have in the in the in the eighties. Yeah. No fucking way. Right. Exactly. So so how how does that change things? Well, it changes things in a lot of ways. I think I think that that it, it makes our, our 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 world in a much much more aggressive place. Yeah. And that's what I really think. Ultimately. Yeah, nowadays everybody's washing their hands, and you got to wear a mask. You can barely breathe with that mask. Sterilize and everything. Sterilize everything, and wash your hands, and fucking don't breathe the same air. You can't even imagine kissing somebody. Oh, are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> right? You can't. You can't breathe the same air. What? You're gonna go mouth to mouth? What? <laughs> True. You know, it, it certainly. It certainly buried the idea of hey, pass that joint. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Strange times. Well, last time somebody passed you a joint, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> right? Strange times for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, look at look at what it's become from from from, and that's what the '60s were. It was all about the sharing. Yeah. It was all about c communal living and fucking all that stuff and free love and all. And and, and where where did it go? Yeah, the innocence to the, to, to the exact opposite. The innocence got the lost. Exact opposite. Everything got lost. Now, uh, you guys are hitting the road here soon in May. Basically, you guys are going at it, uh, not coming back home. I guess, huh? For uh, throughout the whole year, basically, huh? That's right. You got that right. You, you figured it out. Most most of the people I've talked to haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> they didn't realize that I'm basically starting in June and I'll see you Christmas time. Yeah, that's <laughs> all red. That's right. That's exactly what's going on. <laughs> that's a, that's awesome. <laughs> it's gigs everywhere, all over the fucking place. Well, where? Well, how about? Okay, we start we start somewhere, I guess, in near near Boston or something. I think we end up. And we end up in Chicago towards at the end of the fucking tour, but we've done forty fucking shows, right? Wow! So then we get back up up here into Canada. So then we do a run through Quebec, do do five six shows through Quebec, then start heading out east, do five six shows out east, then head back out uh, back towards the west again, pick up a bunch of shows in Ontario to finally get us home at the at the end of August. Or the end of September, right? Yeah. When we, when we then get ready to fuck off to go to to the beginning of our tour, October first in Europe, which kicks off in the UK, and that doesn't end until Christmas time. Wow. <laughs> but, but that doesn't. That's okay. So we got a week or two off, and then we're going to Australia and Japan. <laughs> so no, it it and then after, of course, that that point we'll have been out of this the u.s for for quite a few months and we're going to go do go back to do the second leg the other 40 <laughs> days we didn't do so, so it's 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 crazy man wow so, so before we even got before we even started with the schedule we knew the schedule was coming we prepared for it and 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 from the time we got back from recording in uh in Mid October, I wrote another album. Yeah, do so you have another so, album? Okay. So number twenty is done. Awesome! <laughs> wow. You just so that, that way. I, when we get back from when we finish all this touring, we just like, I just put in the, the you know, put in the fucking turn on the computer and start finishing up all the old all the songs that we wrote. Wow, you're just a busy so guy. And record them. That's it. Talk about planning. <laughs> Very cool. Well, yeah, but you have to, man, because and yeah, and if you're professional, you got to use the time that you have when yeah. you have it. Exactly. Well, and, so oh, I don't feel I don't feel like writing an album. It doesn't matter what you feel like, dude. You got to get the job done. It's your job, exactly. It's your job. That's what you got to do. That's what you said you are. That's what you claim to be. Do it. Yeah, it's a it's a and, and It's been pretty bizarre because you got to look at it from. From my writer, 
writing perspective, I wrote three albums in a row, not with time off in between. It's a nonstop train. It just doesn't stop, huh? Well, well, in this case, because of the pandemic. Yeah. It forced him to, into a situation like that. Normally, you do one album. You, you have you have weeks, a month off. You write some material. You go and you play some more, and you have some weeks off. You write and play some more, and then you by then you've got the album. The the the, out, the basics are, are 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 down, and then you have, a, you have at least six weeks of of rehearsal before, and then you go into the studio and and you lay down the tracks and then you you get it done you get it recorded and so, then the and then the next one you get you come out of the studio you you get prepared to you pick up the the songs that you're going to play you got to practice them for a couple months you do it and away you go right some people next don't day, some people and, don't and realize you that start tour, you start another tour you get a couple weeks off yeah you write some songs and you keep the process going and normally I would have done that in a four, four to six year process. Wow. This would have been a six year process to put three albums out. Wow. Some people I have every two years instead of doing, instead of doing it like that, I did the six year process in three for writing yeah. all in a row. Now <laughs> I'm going to do three years of fucking touring. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Some people don't know what you guys go through, man. Some people just don't know all, the, all that process, you know. They just yeah. Well, I, well, this is the process. Usually, I mean, where you, you got to have the time, you, and no matter what you do, you have to have the time to write. Because I'm not, I don't like writing on the road, and it's not comfortable to write on the road, and you you can't get the work done the same way. It's just not this. It's not how. It's not how I do things. Yeah. It's not how I do that. I don't. I don't know know how other people do things, and quite frankly, it's it's irrelevant. It doesn't even matter. It's how I do things. You know, I got to be home to put my songs together. It's simple as that. Yeah. You know, we got uh, we come in, we get, put the song together, we practice it, play it every day as a band. You yeah. know, it, it's a real band. I'm not. Everybody lives in the city, and everybody comes to rehearsal every day. It's 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 a it, and it's been like that all along. That's the world I come from. Awesome. You know, a lot of bands still live in different cities and. And shit, and they never rehearse. Well, that's not the case with Anvil. Yeah, that, that's not the case. It's a, it's a. I look at it; it's the real thing. We, we we play as a band every day. So you guys are rehearsing already for the tour. The, the bed tracks are are laid down as a band. Yeah, it's not somebody going and playing to a click track. No, we go in with Rob and we play the, the bed tracks. Yeah, and you put the song together like a real band does. Not like not not. Not in bits and pieces and fucking bullshit that, that a lot of bands do. Exactly. The, the, for, for, it's it's interesting because when we come into the studio and into, into Germany, the the guy there goes, "I can't believe it! You guys play a whole song." <laughs> <laughs> I would go, "What did you just say?" <laughs> and he goes, "Yeah, usually the guys just do parts, man. They can't play a whole song." <laughs> wow. Well, wow. uh, that speaks uh, volumes. Speaks volumes right there. Well, you don't have to. So why should you? So you guys are uh, rehearsing already for the I tour. Mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the way that that music is recorded today, you could go in and you could play play uh, 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 a few bars of a verse. Yeah. Dupli du du duplicate it, cut and paste it, and and put your song together yeah. rather than play the whole fucking thing. Uh huh. That's what that's what's going on. Copy and paste, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you what's going on, so you know. You yeah. know? Yeah, you know, bass drum, the guy plays bass drums, he goes, okay, play your bass drums. The guy goes, just your bass drums. He goes, -l 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 -l, does a double bass drum rolls. Here, he's got a, got a sample of it. Then he glues them all together, got like a machine going. Yeah, yep. Come. And the guy can't play that. Can't yeah. even fucking play it. Yeah. If his life depended on, he could never play what what has been what they've got recorded there. That's, that's what the, that's what the fuck that, that's what these albums are filled with. I'm I'm telling you, this is this is the God's uh, God's honest truth. 
You guys are a real band. And, and, and in order, and when and when some of these bands play, I'm not saying all the bands, but when some of these bands play, the, the guy they're not playing what they played on the record because they could never do it in a million years, and and because of the nature of the song, you can't tell what he's playing or what he's not playing. Yeah, this is wow. Of the, because of because of the style of what what you've got, you've got a band of five guys all going. Bleh! What do you think it's going to sound like? Yeah, it's so sad, huh? It's, it's, wow. it, it's not lined up on a on a on a metronome. It's not lined up on a on, on anything. So it's just it's just a barrage of of sound. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. And that's what you. That's what. That's what. So it does. Does it matter? And no one is even caring because everybody's jumping around and uh, jumping on each other's backs and punching each other in the fucking head, and that they're having a good time, and that's what's going on here. So does it matter? No, none of it does. So they're not doing that kind of music. That yeah. kind of music is not necessarily centered around the actual uh, accuracy, especially in the live, live, in the live thing. Live I mean, there are really. There are fast bands like that that are really really accurate. There are. I'm not going to deny that, but they're far and in between. Well, thank you for keeping it real. You guys are a real band, and, and you know, we fans appreciate that more than than a, a, some machine gun uh, on a tape. You know, you know, you guys are the, the yeah, real I'm thing. Just, I'm just giving some kind of insight to, and I'm not saying all of it is like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I wouldn't dare give examples because in, in some in some cases I could be completely wrong. Mm -hmm. But in many cases, a, a lot of these musicians are not have a, even if they were even if they were amazing, they'd have a difficult time doing what they've what they've what they've actually initially written. Yeah, this stuff is is virtually unplayable. But because of the the technology that exists today, Pro Tools, it, it's there. Yeah, programs and Pro Tools machine, and all that. Yeah, machine gun tight fucking bass drums. Yeah, like you've never heard in your life. <laughs> right? Yeah. They're being synthetically generated. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, uh, guitar riffs. You're hearing guitar riffs that are super, super fast, and you're not realizing that they've Pro Tooled the fucking thing. Yeah. Exactly. I'm trying to play it, you, of course you can't play it. It's been fucking programmed by a computer for fuck's sakes. Copy and, and paste. Air. Copy and paste. No copy and paste. You can't play it. Yeah. You know, like I, I, I'm just saying, they've they, they've you, when you go when you use the technology to 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 actually advance ability to to synthetic levels. That it's actually. It's artificially, it's artificial, it's artificial guitar playing. Yeah, it's not real. Art, our artificial singing. Yeah. I mean, there's tons of artificial singing now, and people are very, very upset about it. But it's even that much more amplified in the recording, in the recording studios. And, and I mean, anybody can, yeah, you can always say and use the, 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 the this is the thing, and have, people have to understand. The technology is virtually endless now in the recording studio yeah. to the point you could get a chimpanzee to sound like Mozart. Okay, <laughs> so it's it's <laughs> <laughs> true. That's it, very true. I, yeah, I, I'm just telling. I'm just saying it like it is. Yeah. So, so so what 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 is it, it, what we've got to really question is where, where is it real? Where where is it fake? Yeah. What's believable? Yeah. And and it's it's, it, it, but at the same time, you know, there are there are are, are limitations to human capability of comprehension and and audibly being able to discern what's going on in a piece of music. It's so sad. So, so sad, you know. If it gets too complicated, or if you tune the guitars so so deep and low in, in 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 frequency your ears do not hear the 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 actual fine details of what is being played agreed especially if you're playing fast yeah. okay and these are physical physical uh boundaries that you're not going to exceed 
Yeah. You're not, you're not going to get past physical the physical ability to hear. The notes too low. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, and and that's the same thing as I'm going to play a lead guitar part that only dogs hear, right? Yes. It's, it's really the same. We're talking about fundamentally the same fucking thing. Okay. Yeah. There's a physical limitations to what the human ear can discern and rip apart so if you play notes so fast together eventually it doesn't sound like a note being played played it sounds like a tone exactly yep right yep oh yeah i understand i play guitar so i yeah. understand it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, you might as it, or it could be just a distortion or a warble in it it's so fast you can't even hear the picking it's just it's like is the guitar just going ah, or is it going ah? it gets so fast you can't you can't discern the speed in which it's actually being plucked yeah it gets lost yeah yeah so you can only go so far with that and when the the lower the frequency the worse that becomes exactly yep it's too low and it, and it, and and when you if you're using semitones or even a full tone when you're really really down low you can't even tell that the note changed yeah this is too low yeah i understand yep so and th those are those are those are the things that happen so there are parameters oh yeah and for sure parameters are, are getting have been pushed everything has been pushed the, to those parameters and you you go out and get some of these cds by these bands and you're going i can't believe what i'm hearing and that's right you can't believe it yeah, it sounds. sounds it, the truth is, is, is it, it it is synthetic. Yeah. So, uh, as far as uh, the set list for this tour uh, or tours, who, who calls the shots here? Is it that everybody pitches in uh, different ideas and songs, or are you the one to to call the set well, list? No, I think I think that it's not a it's not a matter of calling shots. It's it, it's a, it's a matter of of uh, continuation and growth from the last time. Yeah. Some songs come through and and leave, and new songs take their place. Yeah. Fundamentally, that, that's what happens as you go. Any but certain things are foundational. You don't stop playing six six six. You don't stop playing fucking metal on metal. Yeah. You don't stop playing metal on metal. You don't stop playing Mothra. Yeah. You know, we, we tried stopping playing Forge and Fire, but so many requests to hear it. It got put back. We, 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 we had uh, Free as the Wind out of the set for fucking probably 30 years, and I brought it back, and people are fucking losing their shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's about the best you can hope for or do, right? Yeah. There's too many songs. There's just too many songs, and uh, you can't please yeah, everybody. Well, the band's got over 200 songs, man. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's and, 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 you know, the, the, the really sad part, and there, there is a very sad, uh, melancholy part about it in the sense that the first three albums, yeah, are the only ones that are were the long lasting ones that any that 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 people want to you got yeah those are the staples they got to be there the staples like, exactly. how, do I, how do I do a gig and not play metal on metal it can't happen it can't happen no well if I do that, I did that we did it once we still ended up playing it <laughs> really. <laughs> Because, because the club owner told us to get the fuck back on stage and play the song or he's not paying us. How about that? Really? Wow. Really? Yeah. It's going, I, got, I got people coming to me right now asking for their money back because you didn't play for that song. It's a fan favorite. Yeah. Well, you can't do it. Yeah. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, imagine going to see the Beatles when you were a kid or something and they you know the song twist and shout and they play a whole show and they don't play the song twist and shout and it's a <laughs> song that was on the radio you'd be going did I really see the band that I knew about <laughs> they didn't play the, my I song mean, you know people wait a whole fucking they don't even know the other shit some people yeah so they actually persevered through your whole fucking set, and then you leave them the only song they knew. You didn't play it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, what a torture! <laughs> you can't. That's why. That's what I'm saying. You can't. You can't do. 
it, it, as, as stupid and as silly as all that sounds, there's a truth to what I'm saying. Exactly, you're, you're it's just the way it is. Very true. It, it's all true. Yes, you know, very, very true. and it, it can be frustrating, and sometimes you, you, you and and one night we, we felt that frustration, and we went and said, "Fuck it, let's not play it tonight." Yeah, you know, <laughs> we're gonna be fucking smart asses, right? Yeah. So we come up after the show, and the next thing you know, but I would say we were up, upstairs in the fucking change room for five minutes, and I mean the place is fucking. The, the literally the club is fucking shaking. We can feel the place shaking, and the club owner comes up. You go down and you fucking go play metal on metal right now. Wow, wow. We we, we didn't want to do it today. I said I don't care what you want to do. You got to. I paid. I pay you guys to do that. Go down or I'm not paying you tonight. Wow, wow. I got people asking for their money back. Go downstairs and play the song. The power of one song. Wow. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what. That, that's the truth. Wow. What is what a story? That, that's the truth. And 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 ever since then, ever since then, um, I, I I used to put metal on metal in someplace in the set. Yeah. But what I decided to do is put metal on metal as the last song of the night. Yeah. That way people can uh, go happy. You know. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. You waited. Here it is, and yeah. and if that doesn't get you an encore, then you don't deserve one, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, that, so that so it has its place. Metal on metal has ended our set for fucking years, man. It's a classic. But, it's a classic. Yeah. yeah, it just it just is. It's what it is. When and that's and and you got to go with it and be proud of it and be happy with it. And the real truth is, I am. Yeah. It's kind of like a kiss playing, uh, kiss playing rock and roll all night. I'm sure they're they're sick of it, you know. But or Detroit Rock City. Are you going to see Kiss and and they're not going to play Detroit Rock City? How are you going to feel about that? Yeah, <laughs> they better play it. Yeah, they, 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 you can't. They, there's just things you just can't. A uh, bands can't do. You, you, like, can Judas Priest go? Can, go, can they really go out and not uh, play? Living after midnight, or or uh, you got another thing coming? Breaking the law, yeah. <laughs> breaking the law. Can they really do a show without those songs? Or should they? Or should they do a show without doing those songs? They're fan favorites. You gotta. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't. You know, it's like Motorhead not doing the chase is better than the catch. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and although Lemmy always made fun of it and called it. it, it, it The chase is better than the snatch. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's the point. Yeah. The, 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 the thing is, it's just, it's just, what, it's just what it, it's just what it is. It's the people have expectations. You got to give them what they, what they expect and what they paid for. Ultimately, what they paid for. A, a band's music is the advertisement to come to that show. Yeah. Exactly. And if you've been advertising with that song, then. Son of a bitch! You better be playing that song. <laughs> That's right. all. Uh, plain and simple. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? if, 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 we better be we better be playing Ghost Shadow on the next at the next show you see us, right? That's a badass song, you guys. <laughs> That's a badass song, and yes, we will be playing Ghost Shadow live. <laughs> awesome! Wow, I'll be there. Whatever you guys come to Texas, I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> Can you okay, do? Okay, we are. We're 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 definitely. I know we're playing Fort Worth. I know we're playing. Uh, What's I that? Think, yeah, that I think we're playing Austin. Okay. I, I'm not sure. Well, I, I I have to look at my schedule again. It's out there. Yeah. For anybody interested, it's out there. And, and particularly, go to the Anvil Anvil uh, uh, Facebook page, and it's 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 up. We have it posted the whole tour, so you can see it there, and that as well as all the support bands that are on the tour as well as the bands that are the locals are all putting up their advertisements everybody knows where Anvil's going and coming um, but the best place to go look is go look at the Facebook stuff I I'd say go look at the Anvil uh, fan website but I'm not sure whether he's posted all the dates yet so yeah but right now Facebook has all of it Awesome. Would you like to send a message to your fans listening to this podcast? I uh, just hope to see you all in, at the at the shows, and I hope that uh, the stuff I've told you about today that 
it was informative and uh i'll see you out there man let's keep it real awesome we'll see you guys on tour steve appreciate your time okay have a good one afm records you guys uh, have to support these guys one of the best metal trios out there they're on tour as we speak uh go check them out uh go to their socials instagram uh facebook blah 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 as far as us thank you for uh checking us out thank you for supporting that metal interview podcast with your friend james one more time and don't forget to keep it metal Metal Interview.